Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godinder Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with Cauchy Residue Theorem problem. Look at this problem. Evolute integral over C sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 whole square z minus 2 dz, where C is the circle modulus of z equal to 3. So, this problem simply mention evolute. Suppose in this problem using Cauchy Residue Theorem use only for Residue Theorem or using Cauchy integral formula use only Cauchy integral formula otherwise evolute is mentioned use Cauchy residue formula Cauchy integral formula or Cauchy residue theorem from these two method which method you are comfortable to apply with to solve this given problem fine so now here I am going to apply this problem using Cauchy residue theorem so what is a the residue theorem see the residue theorem is nothing but Cauchy residue theorem integral over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residue at the point z 1 2 up to n. So, this is a Cauchy residue theorem. and evolution of the residue evolution of the residue so mainly focus simple pole first one is simple pole at z equal to z naught then residue equal to limit z tends to z naught z minus a f of z then poles of order n order n at the point z naught residue limit z tends to z naught 1 by n minus 1 factorial d power n minus 1 by d z power n minus 1 z minus a whole power n f of z this main focus this two formula evolution of residue now first of all if any problems are given see integral over c sin sorry cos pi z square plus sin pi z square divided by sin first sin only given so sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 square z minus 2 t z first procedure denominator equal to 0 first one is this whole denominator equal to 0 so z minus 1 square z minus 2 equal to 0 therefore when the product then z minus 1 square 0 and z minus 2 equal to 0 from this z minus 1 square equal to sorry z minus 1 equal to 0 then z equal to 1 and here z equal to 2 so these twos are poles what is a pole z1 z2 is a pole now to check this poles are inside the circle or outside the circle z equal to 1 is now just this is a graph 0 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 now the circle
the circle is nothing but so this is a circle given the problem is at 3 is at 3 so therefore the point is at 1 here and is at 2 here therefore is it equal to 1 is lies inside is lies is it 1 is a pole is a is it equal to 1 look at here the power to check with this power which power c z minus 1 this is a power the power is nothing but order so order power is a order therefore the pole of order is that equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 pole of order and inside the circle inside the circle then is that 2 is a no power is it minus 2 no power so it's a simple pole inside the circle so the two points are inside the circle suppose any point is outside the circle then the residue value 0 now we have two residue residue 1 and residue 2 therefore first I'm taking is it 1 so to calculate residue r1 equal to when its order order n 2 therefore the formula when the pole of order the formula pole of order n residue is nothing but residue equal to residue of is it equal to is it not the point limit is it tends to is it not 1 by n minus 1 factorial d power n minus 1 d z power n minus 1 is it minus a whole power n into f of z so this is a formula for pole of order n now here n value 2 therefore residue 1 equal to limit z tends to 1 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial d power 2 minus 1 by d z power 2 minus 1 and then z minus 1 power square let the whole term for this let f of z equal to sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 square z minus 2 this is the f of z now substitute here what is f of z sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 square z minus 2 this is a whole term f of z now cancel this two term therefore limit z tends to 1 1 by 1 factorial d by d z sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 2 divided by z minus 2 so now differentiation so now differentiation with respect to z now u by v form what is a u d by dx of u by v equal to v u dash minus u v dash by v square therefore here limit z tends to 1 when i am differentiating u by v so z minus 2 v u dash this is a differentiation sin pi z square the differentiation is nothing but sin pi z square so sin pi z square differentiation cos pi z square into this variable differentiation variable differentiation is nothing but 2 pi z 2 pi z now v u dash 
minus u sorry the whole term cos pi z square plus 2 pi z minus sin pi z square into 2 pi z this is a v dash minus minus u u is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square this is a u v dash this z minus 2 differentiation z minus 2 is nothing but 1 minus 0 divided by z minus 2 whole square so now to simplify this term or directly to substitute z tends to 1 where here 1 here 1 1 1 1 here 1 here 1 so therefore when I am substituting 1 minus 2 cos pi 1 square 1 then 2 pi the 2 pi to write in the front otherwise you will be get confused now 2 pi I am going to write in front side 2 pi cos pi minus 2 pi sin pi then this 2 z minus 2 common so and then minus sin pi minus cos pi plus cos pi within the bracket when I substituted z 1 then divided by 1 minus 2 square therefore here cos pi minus 1 sin pi 0 now this term minus 1 0 0 minus 1 therefore minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 pi into minus 1 0 minus 0 minus minus 1 then divided by minus 1 square so therefore this term minus uh, minus 2 pi plus 1 divided by 1 so when i multiply minus sign inside this bracket the value is nothing but 2 pi minus 1 the residue 2 pi minus 1 so therefore the residue 1 value 2 pi minus so i think this is a minus 1 minus minus plus now here i just substituted the value v u dash so v u dash and then minus u full term v dash then by v square when i substituted 1 1 minus 2 and then here cos pi 2 pi minus sin pi 2 pi and then minus sin pi plus cos pi then this is a cos pi minus 1 2 pi minus 1 0 0 then minus of cos pi so this is a minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 square plus 1 when minus into minus plus 2 pi minus 1 this is a residue 1 So now to check now to check here sorry actually this bracket is only for first term I think this 1 minus 2 is not common uh, yes the first term this other term so this is a this term only for this minus so therefore this is a bracket closed now minus 1 so minus 1 this is a plus and plus 1 
so this is a 2 pi minus minus plus so 2 pi plus 1 residue 1 then residue 2 the point is nothing but z equal to other point residue 2 z equal to 2 so z equal to 2 the power z minus 2 the power is 1 therefore it's a simple pole simple pole at z equal to 2 so therefore the formula residue equal to residue z equal to 2 or z naught limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught f of z so this is a formula for when simple pole at the point z 0 now residue 2 equal to limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 then sin pi z square plus cos pi z square whole divided by z minus 1 square z minus 2 is f of z to cancel this term now substitute z tends to 2 where to substitute here this z places substitute 2 therefore sin pi 2 square cos pi 2 square divided by 2 minus 1 square so sin 4 pi cos 4 pi minus this is a 2 minus 1 1 square 1 sin 4 pi 0 cos 4 pi 1 therefore 0 plus 1 1 residue 2 now what is the question integral over c sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 square z minus 2 dz equal to 2 pi i into residue 1 plus residue 2 then substitute residue 1 value 2 pi plus 1 residue 2 1 therefore 2 pi i 2 pi plus 2 so when i am taking 2 common 4 pi i pi plus 1 4 pi i 4 plus 1. So, this is a final answer. Thank you.